Welcome back. A parking lot underneath Interstate 64 in downtown Charleston is now a much awaited public skating park. 13 News reporter Larissa Casillas joins us now. She was there for the grand opening tonight, Larissa. Well, skaters have been asking the city for a park like this, I'm told, for 30 years. Today I saw different generations of skaters come out to celebrate that something like this finally came to fruition in Charleston. Skateboarding culture may have started in the empty concrete swimming pools of Southern California, but it's made its way to the leafy hills of Charleston. I'm honestly excited to be here. It's the first park we've had here in about 15 years. It's brand new. For skaters like Aaron Williams, growing up in Charleston, there were limited options. I originally learned between Focus Skate Park, the indoor park right down the road from here, and Coonskin. It's why a lot of veteran skaters like Williams showed up to skate alongside the younger ones during Thursday's grand opening of Charleston's first public skate park. You know, growing up in Tate's Valley, we had a skate park, but, you know, as most places, um, you had to drive to it. Something like here is real accessible for everybody on the east end, on the west side and everything like that. Charleston Mayor Amy Goodwin says the park, which sits underneath an Interstate 64 bridge, was envisioned by them. The kids made this happen. They sat at the table with us. They told us what they wanted. They helped with the design of the park and some of the pieces of equipment that they really wanted. And that's what's most important about this park. This isn't the city giving a park to the kids. The kids help create this park for the city. And for these skateboarding enthusiasts, it's a place to get a good skating session in and pass the sport on. So if we could lean into this, it would be fantastic. It would draw more of a skating crowd, more of a better community, especially stuff for the kids. And the skate park is free and open daily from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. All ages and levels are welcome. For 13 News, Larissa Casillas working for you.